Okay, let's pick up um, this idea of logistic regression. Remember, this is really a fascinating idea that you can sort of model or predict either a success or failure, win or lose. You make their plane flight, you don't make your plane flight. And so now let's answer the question, ask the questions we we usually ask, and that is, does this model have any utility at all? And just a reminder, we're going to use the maximum likelihood estimation. I want to show you where you can find that. Be gone, Case. All right. So uh, what we're going to have to do is here's our data. We're going to go to stat regression. Now remember going to binary logistic regression. Binary means there's only two opportunities. And we're going to fit through, and we've got status, and the survival will be one, and the continuous predictor is age. But what I want to show you is where you get the likelihood. Go here to the test of ANOVA table. I think the wall test is the default, so you'll need to change this to the lock likelihood ratio test. And then you could uh, choose whether you want to adjust it one or three. I just kept it at three. I think you could decide which one you wanted to use. All right, so then we hit OK. And this gives us, again, our expression. Here's our equation. Here's some ideas of our coefficients. Here's the odd ratio for the age. And then the model summary. And this kind of gives us a goodness of fit test. But down here, the analysis of variance. Here, the regression is 5.54 with a p-value of 0 0.019. So again, our uh, test statistic turned out to be 5.54. The corresponding p-value from here was 0 0.019. It's a chi distribution with a given degrees of freedom. The no model, no, uh, model utility is true. So the result, resulting conclusion is that um, we can we are not we can conclude since. We can um, reject the null hypothesis and conclude, well, let's say there is statistical evidence. The model has utility. Okay, so you have to spell utility correctly. All right, let's go on to step three then. Does an individual predictor have a significant fit? It's just like the individual t-test. Let's look at the examples t-test. Um, so the predictor was age. And if we look at age, um, that's analysis of variance. Here's the age part of it. Our z-value was negative 2.06 with a p-value of 0 0.039. So uh, negative 2.06 and the p-value equals 0 0.039. And so we conclude then we have statistical evidence that age, um, predictor age, or yeah, the predictor age as utility to the model. Okay, that would be like beta one is not zero. Um, and maybe I could include this up here, what the test would be. So beta one and I want to keep that beta. is um, equals zero. And the alternative hypothesis is that beta one does not equal zero. So we reject the null hypothesis. We have statistical evidence that the predictor age adds utility to the model. Okay. That's great. Now, how does a significant predictor affect the response variable? So it's roughly akin to the confidence interval individual betas from regular regression. However, the mini tab output is in terms of the odds ratio. So let's uh, estimate the coefficient for age. Well, so 
um, I need to do this on an overhead and I, I don't have space here, so I'll just have to uh, say that the corresponding 95% confidence interval for, for the odds ratio is uh, listed right here. So anywhere between um, 0.874 and 0.996. Uh, I'll have to do that a little bit later at a different time. And then the resulting conclusion is tells us we're 95% confidence, uh, confident interval, confident <clears throat> that the odds ratio for age is um, um, between those two values. Let's do the postscript to the example. Let's do it for um, gender, all right, or sex in this particular case. So. Again, I'm going to go to uh, regression, binary logistic regression, fit the binary regression, except for instead of status, um, still do survival. Let's do um, sex will be our continuous predictor. I actually could use the categorical data here for sex. Uh, maybe I should do the continuous for zero and one. And uh, we'll try sex for here. Now, later, well, I'll change my mind again. Let's use Y because that's our um, no, no, not that wouldn't be. It would be female because that would tell us whether we were male or female. Okay, so again, we have to go to options. Make sure we're doing the likelihood ratio test and all that stuff. We do an okay. We look at the chi-squared test, and it does appear as well that uh, if we would forward method that uh, gender does have an effect on this. And if we look at the constant, again, we get a p-value of 0 0.039. And so we could reject the null hypothesis that female is non-zero and um, say that gender does have a significant effect. That's only going by one by one. Later on, when we do multiple logistic regression, we'll have um, uh, something else. And again, how does gender affect the response variable? Um, we're going to have to do that on a sheet of paper. So, kind of is similar to our overall F test, or just our F test in general. And uh, same thing as far as gender effect, that's also like what we did with multiple regression. The only thing that uh, I have to show you is how does the gender affect the response variable? But again, I, I, again, I think this is quite interesting that you can predict um, a yes or no situation based on continuous, continuous data.